Hi, I'm Darius McDermott, Managing Director of Chelsea Financial Services. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by Richard Coldwell, Fund Manager of the Threadneedle Income and Threadneedle Alpha Income Funds. Richard, hi. Hi. How does dividend look on the UK stock market? Are they reasonably well covered or are there areas that you think may be under threat? Yeah, obviously, we've uh, got a situation where the, the, uh, the headline dividend yield on the UK stock market versus the UK gilt uh, is as extreme as it's been over the 100 years. I yeah. think we've only been here once before, and that was in the Second World War. Yes. Um, so we've got a high yield. Uh, as you infer by the question, it's about the quality of that yield and how is it underpinned by the cash generation of companies. So it's, it's case by case. But um, uh, I think the, uh, the dividend is reasonably underpinned. But uh, occupational hazard, there's, there's always risks to individual dividends. But you can, we think we can uh, build a, an attractive portfolio that doesn't mimic the index that's giving you a kind of yield of four or more. Uh, which relative to the bank accounts, relative to uh, uh, bonds, relative to other equity markets, uh, gives you hopefully an underpinning of an attractive all-in total return. And you have a, a think active, act lazy type of approach. Could you tell us a bit more detail what, what that actually means? Yeah, it's a, it's a, a, a phrase uh, that I like. Uh, I'm trying to convey by that that um, uh, we are not uh, stock jockeys. We are not trading in out of stocks all day, every day. Um, we are owners of businesses, not renters uh, of stocks. Therefore, we're doing lots of work all the time trying to understand better a business, uh, trying to make sense of the valuation, trying to predict what could excite the markets or make markets fearful in a few few years' time, trying to think one step ahead. Um, but in terms of actually pulling the trigger and buying or selling uh, meaningful positions, you know, we are more lazy, you know, we're more sloth like, uh, particularly in, in, in my uh, income strategies. So uh, I think that's an important differential that uh, yeah. I think quite a, quite a lot when you read in uh, market commentary, you'd think we were uh, sort of fireflies trading in and out all the time. Now, obviously, there are people in the market doing that, but that's not weird, what we're doing. A typical stock, how, how long do you normally hold that for? So three years, five years? Yeah, at the moment, uh, over five years is the average, actually. Yeah, so um, there's, uh, in my portfolios, uh, there's sort of a good uh, 10 or more stocks that I've owned for the full decade. Yeah. And likewise, there's some big parts of the market that I've not owned any stocks in, again, for 10 years. That maybe brings me on to my next question, because you've got a sort of a contrarian value style, yet some of the parts of the market which, which I know are very unloved, um, financials, oil and gas, you actually underweight those type of stocks. Um, what, why is that? Yeah, I mean, I, I, you're right. I, I, I want to be contrarian, uh, want to build up new positions uh, in uh, unloved parts of the market. So we're always uh, assessing the opportunities uh, within financials and in, in resources. And you're right that optically some of the valuation ratios in that part of the market look quite cheap. So that uh, the assessment we're doing is whether actually the cash flows are not quite as resilient or the growth opportunities not quite as attractive as other parts of the market. So you don't have to own anything, you know. Just I suppose that's it, the value of being an active yeah, they're, manager. They're just you can the, stay away from the exactly, areas you don't want. Exactly, they're big parts of the index. Uh, customers can get exposure to them either directly or through uh, a, a passive fund. We're trying to do something a bit different, um, and you know, be less envious of what other people own and concentrate on what you own really, yeah. and what's your edge, you know, and if if a share price is going to be determined by the iron ore price or the oil price or the interest rates, then maybe that's not where I've got an edge, really. Richard, thank you very much. Thank you. For more information on the Threadneedle Income and Alpha Income Funds, please visit chelseafs.co.uk.